This next scary video comes from the Mexican ghost hunting channel, Ricky Velasquez. Ricky sets out in the dead of night to explore the most haunted house in San Diego de Querétaro, Mexico, live for his viewers. Whispers of its past tell of La Zacatecano, a woman with mysterious ties to those who once crossed her path. The house has become something of a local legend for the supernatural. Most famously, a woman's face known as Amino is rumoured to appear in the window of the first floor of the building. Ricky starts his live investigation around the old haunted house where he hears a lot of strange noises. However, at around 33 minutes into his exploration, he encounters something absolutely terrifying. Oh, no, my, I feel horrible. Horrible, horrible. Muchas gracias, Lupita González. Hola. Empiezo a sentir helado. ¿Qué se escuchó? Hola. see it? As Ricky flips his camera to selfie mode, the face of someone or something can be seen standing right behind him. Ricky sees it and without a second thought, flees the house in absolute terror. Ricky Velasquez's viewers were left terrified by this scary moment caught live by Ricky, with many speculating that this mysterious figure lurking behind him is the spirit of the woman said to have passed away here. But what do you think? Did Ricky Velasquez capture a ghost during his live exploration of this haunted house? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. Visiting a haunted house usually doesn't guarantee any ghostly encounters. So when couple Brandon and Taryn Hunt plan their weekend stay at the notoriously haunted Myrtle's Plantation in Louisiana, they probably thought they'd return with nothing more than a few spooky stories without any ghostly sightings. Yet, to their surprise, they ended up capturing footage that was pretty damn creepy. <laughs> Caught on camera inside the haunted Myrtle's plantation, a pair of feet can be seen stepping down the stairs and walking across the floor. But whose are they? Commenters on this video have been left divided, with some viewers suggesting it's possibly just a reflection. However, others point towards it being a real ghost sighting. But what do you think? Ghost feet or just a reflection? You tell me. This first creepy video comes from TikTok, uploaded by user Bleak Sorrow. At first glance, you might assume that being a professional grave digger is the eeriest part of Will Graves' life. However, as the videos unfold, it becomes unsettlingly apparent that perhaps his job has, in some way, followed him home. Okay, TikTok. So, my power is out at the moment in the basement and I swear I keep hearing someone walk I don't know exactly what it is but it's kind of creepy laundry room still has power so that's good but the uh, the rest of the basement's power is completely out which is very strange I'm not sure what that noise was, but 
As Will enters the basement, a mysterious dark figure can be seen standing motionless in the bathtub facing the wall. But who is it? And when Will returns to the bathroom sometime later, the figure is nowhere to be seen. After posting this video to TikTok, eagle-eyed viewers were quick to point out the dark figure Will caught on camera. And of course, they demanded a part two. Will responds and decides to film the basement again. Okay, TikTok. I'm going to show you guys this basement and all the creepy stuff that's been happening here. This is the bathroom I passed earlier where there was some shadow figure standing, supposedly. I've watched it. It's creepy. That's creepy. But anyway, there is nothing in here to make a shadow stand at all in this bathtub. I have a, that's to the pipes outside. Bathtub, shower, have a window right here. Uh, what the f was that? Did you catch it? As Will pans the camera towards a window, a hand can be seen touching the glass before it quickly disappears out of sight. Will rushes round the other side, but no one's there. In this next clip, taken some time later, Will heads back down to the basement and captures something rather strange. What's going on TikTok? We're back in my basement. Uh, my fiance has been hearing some noises down here. Water running. Actually, this door has been moving. So it's been kind of creepy. I'm really not sure what I'm looking for. Um, a lot of you guys want to know why I don't have electric. I do have electric down here. We just had the power off in this main room because it was getting remodeled. We still have the breakers on for the laundry room and for the bathroom. I'll show you guys the bathroom now. It still has water, or not water, electric. It has water too, hopefully. But yeah, it actually has a nice, very bright light. It actually has a light up here that also works. So that's awesome. Those doors, as you know, that's my pantry. That's my, uh, that's water running. What that is. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, we're not we're not fucking with that right now. Well, all of a sudden hears water running and rushes over to check. He finds the tap running, and even weirder, all the kitchen cupboards are now wide open, when seconds before they were all completely shut. TikTok viewers were left terrified by this mysterious dark figure lurking in Will's basement, speculating on the connection between his profession and these ghostly disturbances. Some wonder if he's unknowingly invited a restless spirit into his home, while others speculate that it could be a past occupant attempting communication. And yet, there are those who remain sceptical, questioning the authenticity of these occurrences. But what's your take? Is Will Graves genuinely experiencing paranormal disturbances, or are there more mundane explanations at play? Let me know down below. The next creepy clip comes from TikTok, uploaded by user Cassie KK. In the early hours of the morning, while Cassandra is asleep, she's awoken by noises coming from outside her bedroom window. She grabs her phone, hits record, and bravely takes a look.
gate can be seen banging over and over again, but there's no wind. Cassandra scans her fence with her flashlight, and someone or something dressed in all black can be seen standing by her fence, eerily staring directly at Cassandra. She sees it and rushes to her front door to get a better look, but the figure is no longer there. Then a loud knock at the door startles her and the video ends there. Cassandra's viewers were left horrified by whoever or whatever this is watching her from the shadows. Most viewers believe this figure to be an actual person, possibly a stalker, and that Cassandra should report this incident to the police. However, some believe that Cassandra staged the whole thing. But what do you think? Creepy stalker person? Or is it all just for views? Let me know. The next entry comes from the official Facebook page for the infamously haunted Myrtles Plantation, located in St. Francisville, Louisiana. Plantations have quite sinister histories and often rumoured to be rife with hauntings, and the Myrtles Plantation is no different. Supposedly built on ancient Indian burial grounds, and with several tragic incidents apparently occurring within the house itself, the plantation has a reputation as being quite the spooky site. The most known ghost ghost of the Myrtles plantation is that of Chloe, a slave owned by the family who sadly met a tragic fate. The following picture was taken by a group of friends visiting the Myrtles plantation, posing to mark their get together on the porch of the old building. At first glance, the photo looks normal, but on further inspection, something more creepy can be seen. In the window behind the group of friends gathered for the photo, the face of someone can be seen gazing out and they appear to be staring at the unsuspecting group. Facebook users have been debating in the comments on this one with some believing it's real, but some suggest it could be photoshopped. Facebook user Caroline Elizabeth, however, says that quote, I was with this group on the tour and I can honestly say that there was no one in the window. I watched them take that selfie and there was no way anyone could have slipped into the window or else I would have seen it. But what do you think? Did this group of friends capture a ghost on camera while taking a group photo at the Myrtles plantation? Or is it all just Photoshop? Let me know in the comments below. This next video was broadcast live on Al Rojo Vivo, an American Spanish breaking news show, and shows something rather creepy during the demolition of Pablo Escobar's office buildings in Medellin, Colombia. Moments before the building is about to be demolished, a white figure can be seen moving at rapid speed in and out of a part of the building where Escobar himself was known to spend time in. Then, captured in a photo, snapped by a nearby resident, a mysterious transparent human figure can be seen standing on one of the balconies. The half transparent face does resemble that of the infamous cartel leader Pablo Escobar, who passed away two decades ago. Obviously, the condemned building had nobody inside, so just who is this mysterious figure seen on the balcony? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. This next entry comes from Facebook, uploaded by Brenner Key. Apparently, late one night in a quiet ICU hospital, a nurse decided to test the flash on her camera. She switched the lights off, stood in complete darkness, and took a picture. In the flash of light from the camera, in a magnetised version of the photograph snapped by the nurse inside an ICU room, a translucent figure can be seen in the reflection of a mirror. The figure appears to be sitting down, staring directly into the mirror. Facebook users have been left creeped out by this photograph, with many believing it to be real proof of a ghost. But what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera? Drop a comment below with your thoughts. 
In the quest to ensure the safety of loved ones, many turn to surveillance. Cameras discreetly installed in rooms offer that peace of mind. But every so often, the lens captures more than just innocent play. It unveils an unsettling presence that was meant to remain hidden. This footage, shared on the subreddit Ghosts by user DJ Migs one depicts his nieces in a light-hearted moment until the unexpected occurs. At first, everything looks perfectly normal, but then, out of nowhere, a mysterious white thing zooms past. But what is it? Reddit users were left stunned at this clip, with many believing it to be a ghost. And the original uploader says that this is, quote, a spirit running past his niece. But what do you think? Ghost caught on camera or something else? Let me know down below. TikTok user Adrian Montenegro02 uploaded this next eerie clip, documenting a chilling encounter he and his family unknowingly had during a trip to the mountains near Monterrey, Mexico. In the initial moments, the video simply captures the family having fun on a swing, yet a closer look reveals an unsettling presence lurking in the shadowy background. Watch closely. <laughs> in the background a pale human-like figure stalks around at the edge of the woods whoever or whatever it is walks and crouches slowly and quietly as if hiding from the family before eventually slipping away into the shadows TikTok viewers are genuinely creeped out by this video. Many believe whoever this is to be a skinwalker, yet others believe it to be a homeless person who lives in the woods. But what's your take? Skinwalker or homeless person? Let me know. This video comes from a channel I was one of the first to feature, Midwest Ghost Hunter. In the video, Ian heads out to the infamous San Haven Sanatorium in North Dakota, USA. Built in 1909, San Haven Sanatorium started as a treatment facility for tuberculosis patients, then turned into a mental asylum until it was closed in the 1980s. It is said that thousands of patients passed away at San Haven during its operation, and many reports of apparitions seen in the windows, the sounds of phantom footsteps, screams and voices, along with sightings of mysterious shadowy figures have been well documented. Many who venture inside San Haven Sanatorium have reported feelings of being watched or experienced an overwhelming sense of sadness or dread. Ian makes his way through the sanatorium in the pitch black, armed only with his night vision camera alone, or so he thought. What's that sound? Okay, those were footsteps. Oh, shit. Damn, these stairs. The sounds of footsteps can be heard walking upstairs, creeped out 
but wanting to document everything he can find. Ian rushes upstairs, but doesn't find anyone. Ian continues his investigation, hoping to capture as much evidence as he can get. Okay, as creepy as that was, I did feel a gust of wind when that happened, and I'm pretty sure that's what it was. See, look at that. See? Holy shit. <laughs> Still creepy as hell. A door creepily opens right in front of Ian, but he says he's pretty sure it was just the wind. He continues on, exploring the old abandoned asylum, and a short while later, he ends up capturing this. Hello? Whoa, what was that? Dude, I think I just saw something. Could you appear like that again? Oh my god, dude, it is cold over here. <gasps> oh my god, it just went into that room! Dude, it just flew into here. What the? Dude, that was crazy. I just saw you. Did you just go into this room? I need to go in there now. Dude, it literally sounded like a woman talking in here. Dude, that was so crazy. I heard that with my own ears. Ma'am? Could you speak again? I think I just heard you. Okay, you really spooked me there. I did not expect that. Did you just knock on a wall? Could you knock on it again? She is communicating with me right now. An orb appears right in front of him and disappears down the corridor. Ian sees it and asks it to reappear again, but nothing happens. As he moves forward, Ian feels the air get colder. Then, out of nowhere, an orb appears directly in front of him and floats into a room. Keen to get to the bottom of whatever is haunting the asylum, Ian presses on. Hello? Oh my god! Dude, what the f**k? Okay, from out here. Hello? Sound like a cry for help.
Ian hears what sounds like screaming, saying the words, help me. He rushes down the hallway to see what could have made that sound, but he finds no one. Whoever, or whatever it was, has gone quiet. Ian makes his way through the abandoned asylum, where he decides to take out his camera and snap some pictures, and what he captures sent shivers down his spine. I think I might try to take pictures down this hallway. A lot of people say they see shadow figures. Basically in all areas of this place. I'm hoping to catch one in a photo. If there's anybody down this hallway, could you appear for me? What the? What was that? Sounded like a breath. Was that you? Okay, I'm hearing noises all around me right now. Whoa, I think I got something on here. Dude, that was like a figure. Oh my god, and it's gone. Dude, I just caught something. It was by that window. Holy shit. Dude, that was crazy. I just caught like a photo. Holy crap. Are you standing by this window? Holy crap. That was so freaking cool. Could you appear again? <gasps> Whoa, dude. I just got that in the freaking camera. Holy crap. Caught on camera by Midwest Ghost Hunter, a mysterious white misty figure can be seen standing by one of the windows of the abandoned asylum. And then, moments later, a white mist appears before disappearing into thin air, right where the white misty figure was seen. Ian's viewers were on the edge of their seats throughout his investigation at the abandoned San Haven Sanatorium, with many agreeing with Ian that he caught real paranormal activity on camera. The title of this video is Terrifying Paranormal Activity at the Sanatorium of Death. But what's your verdict? Does it live up to its name? Did Ian capture paranormal activity at the infamous San Haven Sanatorium? You tell me. This next creepy video comes from the Japanese ghost channel, Fourth Wall. In the heart of Shikoku, Japan, stands a house that the locals say is extremely haunted. Two decades ago, inside this very house, a neighbour who was concerned that he hadn't seen the family for a while, ended up discovering something horrifying. The family's lifeless bodies in the living room. Missing from the scene was the 10 year old son, later found in the garage, muttering the words, the shutters are scary. The community was shocked as the boy had seemingly vanished out of sight for a year leading up to his discovery. While the son's whispers became the stuff of hushed legends, the plot thickened when the property came under the ownership of Mr Ishikawa. His intrigue about the property's past led him to a disturbing discovery, a child's drawing depicting the tragic family incident and an unnerving shadowy figure standing nearby. Could it be the manifestation of the dark entity rumoured to haunt the home. Adding to the house's eerie reputation, an attempt to cleanse its aura was abruptly halted. An employee, after encountering the chilling drawing, was struck with an explicable illness, fueling speculations about a curse linked to the home's past. 
Mr. Ishikawa's interest in unveiling the mysteries of the house didn't stop there. Footage from a camera, left recording overnight by a friend of his, unveiled unsettling phenomena that few could rationally explain. This is the footage Mr. Ishikawa's friend caught. The shutters to the garage can be heard echoing through the empty property, but did you see it? While the shutters were moving, a mysterious white figure can be seen slowly peeking in around the door before it slips away out of sight. Mr. Ishikawa shared this story of the house and this video footage with the fourth wall team via email and, of course, they became interested. The fourth wall team sends a cameraman to visit the empty house alone late at night and within minutes of stepping foot into the house he captures something rather creepy. The sounds of someone talking startles the person recording, but when he looks inside, there's no one there. Spooked by this, the cameraman decides to set up multiple night vision cameras around the empty property, with one pointing directly at the garage shutters. This is what that camera caught. Something can be heard scratching and rattling the garage shutters and then a pair of legs eerily walk by before they mysteriously disappear into thin air. YouTube viewers have been left spooked. The harrowing tale of the house combined with the creepy footage of these phantom legs passing the garage shutters has left many scared to go to sleep at night. An overwhelming number are now convinced that the shadows of the past still haunt this home but the question remains what's your your verdict. Share your thoughts below in the comments. This next creepy clip comes from one of my favourite urban exploration channels, Urbex Hill. In the video, Chris visits an abandoned street named Holton Avenue, located in Cleveland, Ohio. This desolate street, with a church dating back to 1913, sits as a reminder of a time gone by. Chris starts his exploration inside the old church, then after a while, he makes his way to the basement, and things start to get creepy. Something. 
As Chris explores the basement of the abandoned church, he hears what sounds like clinking of metal or plates. He pauses and hears it again. Startled, he looks around and the coast looks clear, so he presses on. Caught on Chris's static cam upstairs, a door can be seen slamming shut somehow on its own. He goes up to check it out, but doesn't find anyone. Wanting to find out just what made that loud bang, Chris continues his exploration. Chris comes across a door that he thought was open the last time he came by. Just as he says that, a faint sound can be heard nearby, almost like a demonic growl. He doesn't hear it though, but his viewers did. Chris makes his way out of the church and onto the street, where he has to hide in total darkness when a car passes by. A little while later, he enters an abandoned rundown house, and it turned out to be a very bad idea.
as a basement. find a body down here. It actually looks like it's just underneath the house. It's not really a basement. Still creeping. Sorry, I didn't know about you lived there. It smelled like piss. I knew somebody was in there. Oh, There's somebody living in there. Chris peers inside a room with a curtain to see if anyone's inside, but no one is in there. He checks the basement and suddenly he hears footsteps above him. He rushes up and waits by the exit to see if someone's now in the house. Then the curtain pulls open and Chris gets out of there. Chris's viewers were holding their breath while watching this creepy exploration around Holton Avenue, with many agreeing with AMW Fan 88 that they can't believe he pulled back another curtain after what happened in the school. Thankfully, Chris made it out of both situations safely. Now, I don't know about you, but I've always thought that people are scarier than ghosts. But what do you think? And what would you do in this scary situation? Let me know down below. This next entry comes from the subreddit Ghosts, uploaded by user Fabrizio Mendez, and shares an unsettling tale. The backdrop, the infamous Duran Sanatorium in Costa Rica, a place where echoes of the past still linger. Once a hospital for tuberculosis sufferers, its haunting reputation now draws in curious explorers. On a seemingly ordinary visit, his mother snapped a photo of their family, but when they later reviewed the picture, they were shocked by what they saw. At first, the photo looks, well, normal. Just Fabrizio, his dad and his brother posing for a family photo outside a now vacant but haunted sanatorium. However, upon closer inspection, something more creepy can be seen. In an upstairs window, a figure lurks, bearing a striking resemblance to the cinematic horror icon, Balak or the Nun. As if that wasn't unsettling enough, another spectral nun stands, almost camouflaged by a wall, her gaze fixed unnervingly on the family. Fabrizio is adamant that the sanatorium was closed that day for repairs and that nobody was around. So this begs the question, who are they? The photo has the community on edge, with many recounting their spine-chilling experiences. Reddit user FIFA Ra Throwaway says that, quote, The hostel slash volunteering organisation I was with went there and we went inside. Something definitely followed us back that night and a lot of weird shit 
happened. Some that made the hostel owners think that someone may have broken in when it was reported. They checked the cameras, supposedly, but we never heard more. However, the next night when we arrived back, they had sages in all of the dorms. They continue, every single guide and local I met had experienced footsteps running upstairs, doors slamming, other strange happenings, and of course some claim to have even seen the ghost of the little girl. So, who are these mysterious figures in the photograph behind Fabrizio's family? Apparitions from a bygone era? Or something else? You tell me. This next creepy clip comes from the ghost hunting and paranormal investigation channel Hunting the Unknown. Alex sets out on a solo exploration of an abandoned winery restaurant that is said to harbour extreme paranormal activity. The winery, which has been abandoned for over 25 years, is dilapidated and falling apart. Apparently, the previous owners became so scared and are said to have just got up and left all of their belongings because of paranormal activity that occurred occurred in the building. Satanic rituals are amongst some of the insidious things that have been rumoured to have happened inside the abandoned winery in the last few years. Bravely, Alex decides to investigate the winery alone, or so he thought. Here we go guys, we're inside. Come to this place. Before a long time ago, it was in a lot better condition than this. Obviously, it's in a lot of bad disarray. The moment it's destroyed, I can barely see. I've only got one light, and you just feel like being watched already in this place. This place is in the middle of like a forest. It used to be a winery, but just over 25 years, it's been derelict, abandoned. So the forest has reclaimed this place pretty much. And it's known to have people coming in to do seances and things like that, satanic things. Because in the UK, you might not think it, but it's very popular in this country. Satanists, the demons, all that sort of stuff, summoning rituals. You name it, guys, they do it in this country. It's only if you can happen while you're, while you're on your own. I've got a music box set up at the moment. Do a little walk through. Hello. As Alex is making his way through the winery, a door suddenly slams shut. His static camera captures the moment the door swings shut with force. Creeped out, but eager to explore the old building, Alex presses on. A little while later, Alex decides to use a spirit box device to make contact in the bar area, and then this happens. Can you turn off the music box again? Can you walk in front of it? Was that you making that noise? Where are you? Can you give me a sign, please? Alex calls out for any entities present to make contact with him and then, all of a sudden, bottles on the counter fall over and crash onto the floor, scaring the crap out of Alex. Alex is terrified, but continues his attempt to make contact, mentions he feels as if he's being watched. Steve, are you here? I think you're lying. I don't think your name's Steve. I don't understand how these were locked down. It's crazy, I don't understand this. I'm pretty sure this is like that. Hello?
Now, this is where I have to ask, did you catch it? As Alex pans the room, a mysterious dark figure can be seen watching Alex from the darkness, but who or what is it? Viewers suggest that this dark figure is an infamous shadow figure and possibly the cause of the reported paranormal activity that scared the owners away all those years ago. But what do you think? Did Alex capture a real shadow figure on camera? You tell me. This next entry comes from the Japanese ghost channel Fourth Wall. The Fourth Wall team received a video from a person named Maguro who claims his house is haunted. After adopting a stray cat left by the home's previous owners, Maguro gave it to his friends, Mr. and Mrs. Kimura. A few months later, the Kimuras decided to move, spooked by terrifying experiences in their house. It turns out their home had a dark past that dated back 20 years with rumours suggesting a previous resident might even have been possessed. Apparently, a man passed away by a door in the house. Eager to capture what was haunting his friends, Maguro set up cameras to film the unsettling events that followed. He set up a camera to capture everything in the living room, but also the door where, supposedly, the person had passed away by 20 years ago. This was captured the first night. A static night vision camera captures a sheet of paper sliding off a cabinet mysteriously, all on its own. Not long after this, Mr. and Mrs. Kimura moved out. Now the house is empty, Maguro continued filming inside the property, and several nights later, while the house was empty, the static night vision camera captures something very creepy. Captured on camera in the dead of night, inside the now vacant property, the door in the empty house suddenly opens gently on its own, and then what appears to be a pale white figure can be seen standing in the doorway, facing the camera. Shocked by what he saw, Maguro decided to review all the footage starting from when the Kimuras lived in the house, and as he was sifting through hours of footage, what he discovered was so chilling, it made his blood run cold. Caught on camera in the middle of the night, we can see Mr. Kimura stepping into the living room and, bizarrely, he just stands motionless for around two minutes. Then, weirdly, he gets down on the floor next to the door, the same door where the person had passed away in the house 
20 years before. One of the family's cats walks in, but strangely, it completely ignores Mr. Kimura. Almost as though the person sitting there isn't really Mr. Kimura at all. Finally, he gets up and leaves the room. YouTube viewers were shocked after seeing this creepy footage captured by Maguro inside Mr. and Mrs. Kimura's house, with many suggesting the house is haunted by the spirit of the person who died 20 years ago, just as Mr. and Mrs. Kimura suspected. Some believe that this mysterious pale figure is a sinister dark entity who possessed Mr. Kimura as seen in this footage. And it's a good job they left before he suffered the same fate as the man 20 years ago. But what do you think is going on here? Did Maguro capture evidence of a haunting on camera? You tell me. This next ghost video comes from the Japanese ghost hunting channel, Black Story. Kuro and Tei received a message from one of their followers, telling them about an abandoned hospital in Chiba, Japan, where her mother worked several years ago. The unnamed follower says that she's been to the abandoned hospital before, where she encountered what she believes to be paranormal activity. <coughs> Suspecting the hospital is haunted, Kuro and Tei venture out in the dead of night to see what they could find. For the first part of the video, the pair explore the old building where they hear strange bangs and noises. However, later in the video, Kuro and Tei decide to split up to cover more ground and Kuro ends up capturing this. どうやっ see it. As Kuro glances in one of the rooms of the abandoned hospital, the face of someone or something can be seen pressed against the glass window. Kuro doesn't see it, and seconds later when he gets to where the figure should be standing, there's no one there. Black Story's viewers pointed out this mysterious face caught on Kuro's camera, and the ghost hunters were understandably creeped out when they saw it themselves. Viewers speculate that this is a ghost caught on camera, perhaps the spirit of a former patient. But what do you think this could be? Let me know. This next entry comes from TikTok, uploaded by Marcio Palmer. In what should have been a milestone moment, Marcio moved into his own flat, sharing the space only with his two beloved cats. A time for celebration quickly turned into a haunting experience, as Marcio began noticing unsettling occurrences within his new home. Now, living alone takes a new, terrifying meaning, as he believes he's not the only entity residing in his apartment. Desperate for answers, Marcio took to carrying his phone everywhere, capturing and sharing the eerie happenings to his TikTok page, in the hopes that someone might be able to help explain the scary moments he's been witnessing.
The sounds of things crashing can be heard coming from another room of Marcio's apartment. He gets up to check and finds several cups on the kitchen floor. Confused, he looks around and then a blue cup suddenly flies off a shelf right next to him. Then later on, Marcio is disturbed by noises again. He goes to look and finds the keys rocking back and forth, mysteriously all on their own. Then, when he returns to his living area, the lampshade can be seen swinging side to side. This next clip, Marcio is about to relax when he's disturbed by noises again. door slams behind Marcio. He goes to check, but nobody's inside. Then, a loud sound startles him, and he spins around, but no one can be seen. He takes a look around, and then a chair slides out from under the table. Marcio checks his home, but doesn't find anyone. Suddenly, he hears his guitar in his bedroom, and then the bedroom door slowly closes right in front of his eyes, and the sound of banging can be heard echoing off it. Terrified, but wanting to capture everything on camera as evidence, Marcio continues filming. Then, the doorbell to his home rings. He immediately opens the door, but no one's out there. In this next clip, Marcio is again trying to relax, when his intercom begins emitting a rather strange noise. Marcio's intercom emits a sound, almost as if something's outside pressing the buzzer. He looks through the peephole, but doesn't see anyone. And strangely, the intercom is battery powered, but only has one battery in it. So just how was it working? Marcio decides he needs to find out just what on earth is going on in his home. So he makes the brave decision to buy a Ouija board in an attempt to make contact with whatever is haunting his home. But this only made the activity worse.
Marcio returns home, but as he approaches his front door, loud banging can be heard inside. Confused and scared, he proceeds with caution, only to find his home has been trashed and the light won't turn on. However, as he enters further, the light begins to flicker right above his head. Terrified, Marcio looks around and ends up finding the Ouija board he used earlier lying in the corner of the room. Marcio Palmer continued to experience strange things for a while after this, before the activity eventually settled down. After watching Marcio Palmer's unsettling videos, TikTok users were quick to sound the alarm. This isn't just a haunted home, it's something far worse. It's haunted by a poltergeist. Many blame the Ouija board Marcio used, warning that it could escalate the supernatural events. Some viewers suggest Marcio should get his home blessed or move out entirely, but others warn that the haunting may not be tied to the location. It could follow him no matter where he goes. So what do you think? Is Marcio living with something truly evil? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Spirits are known to be drawn to children and animals. The younger the child is, the more susceptible they are to the spirit world. That means baby monitors often capture creepy moments just like this one. New mom Joanna Pasco or Brasco526 on TikTok posted this video from her baby monitor app that alerted her to movement. Okay, okay, okay. That's not possible. Is that the light? What the f is that what is that what is it look at the way look it's lingering is it the light outside like what is happening right now there's no other light how is this possible like the, there's no pinhole empty like the curtains i pulled the curtains closed you guys what the f is this and it's not leaving it's getting near her Oh my god, did she just, did she just touch it? Where did it go? In the darkened baby's room, a bright white orb can be seen floating around the baby. Instead of being asleep, the baby seems alert and active, moving around the cot while the orb floats nearby. But then, it suddenly looks like the baby has seen the orb and he reaches out to touch it. As it does, the orb vanishes and the baby appears to run after it, trying to find it. But what is this mysterious bright white orb seen floating around? Drop a comment below with your thoughts. This next entry has been stirring conversations on the Ghosts subreddit. Uploaded by Motorbiker1985, this peculiar photograph was shot using a Roliflex camera from the 1930s, armed with FOMA 400 film. In search of the captivating beauty that Scotland's landscapes offers, he stumbled upon something far more enigmatic. Motorbiker1985's exploration led him to a quaint, albeit weathered, roofless shelter tucked away in the back of a garden, a place that seems to echo with the whispers of the past. It's not just the shelter that emanates a sense of ancient stories, the very land it sits on is drenched in history. A stone's throw away lies an ancient Neolithic tomb and burial ground, with its origins veiled in the mists of time dating back to 2000 to 3000 BC. And if you dare to venture a little further, an old mansion looms, now transformed into a care home for the elderly. Yet, whispers in the local folklore suggest that it's haunted by the apparition of a lady in white. Captivated by the aura of these diverse historical elements, Motorbiker1985 felt compelled to capture the moment. He aims his vintage Rolleiflex camera and pressed the shutter. The image he caught not only astounded him, but sent a wave of shivers down his spine. Look closely at the photograph. Do you see it? A ghostly face, distinctly human and eerily ethereal, peers out from the window of the crumbling structure. According to Motorbiker1985, the face resembles that of an older woman. Yet, 
While the visage is discernible, the body behind it seems either transparent or entirely absent. Reddit is abuzz with theories, speculations and potential debunkings, each diving into complex photographic techniques and scientific discussions. Yet, each discourse reaches the same unsettling conclusion. No one can quite explain it. So, what do you make of this? Is this a ghost caught on camera as the uploader believes? Let me know what you think. This video comes from the ghost hunting channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. In the video, the ghost hunters visit the old rectory school, which was built next to a church in the early 1800s. The school has been abandoned for some time, and many believe it to be haunted by shadow figures. Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations start their ghost hunt by taking turns asking several questions. However, when it's Mark's turn, this happens. What was that noise? It might have been me moving. No. Let me check the static, static cam. Uh, we've been having all sorts of um, weird issues today. Now it may be down to the cold because it's extremely cold here. It's probably minus two or three. But camera problems. What's in there? Phil, Phil, wait, 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 Phil, Phil, wait, wait. Now, either someone's wandered in or there's someone wearing a black cloak. That's what we saw in there. And standing just round there. Like an old teacher, you know the cloaks the old teachers used to wear? That's what we saw by that classroom in there. Did you have a camera? I'm shaking. Maybe, you might have. Who is it? Jeff might have just seen. Are you one of the old teachers or the headmaster? I can hear talking in there. I can hear talking in there. Please t tell me your name. Don't be scared. We're, we're not here to cause any harm. We're just interested and want to contact you. As the investigation unfolds, Jeff hears an unsettling sound, almost like their static cam powering down. Venturing to inspect the situation, he's met with a chilling sight. For a brief moment, the camera captures a shadowy figure draped in what appears to be a cape, eerily reminiscent of the attire teachers wore at this very school in the late 1800s. Throughout their paranormal investigation at this haunted building, mysterious voices and inexplicable noises accompany them at every turn. Yet, it wasn't until they reviewed the footage back home that the true extent of their paranormal encounter became heart-stoppingly clear. When we were leaving the building, I took several photographs from outside and during the production of this episode, one of the pictures revealed a shadow figure which seemed to be watching us from within the doorway to the building. Captured on camera as the ghost hunters make their exit, a shadow figure looms in a doorway, seemingly observing them from the depths of the shadows of this abandoned school. Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations viewers were glued to their screens during their ghost hunt at the old rectory school. The prevailing theory that these ominous dark figures are none other than the spirits of former teachers still tethered to the building. Many viewers echo Mrs. Lynn B's comment asserting that these guys are the real deal, no fakery. But, as always, the interpretation rests with you. Could Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations have truly captured the ethereal presence of a former teacher still haunting the corridors of this abandoned school? Share your thoughts below.
This next creepy video was recorded and uploaded to YouTube by Zombie660R. Initially aimed at capturing their children's impressive cup stacking talent, what began as an innocent family moment took a chilling twist that has left them grappling for answers. This wasn't just a typical home video as the cameras rolled, an occurrence so startling unfolded that the family was rendered speechless. On the shelf behind the children, a doll creepily takes on a life of its own, mysteriously sitting up without any visible force guiding it. The family, oblivious to the doll's movement behind them, continue on like nothing happened. Upon revisiting the footage, the family's initial delight turned into sheer horror, struggling to comprehend the doll's unexplained movement. The footage was aptly titled, Possessed Doll, Real Ghost footage. Yet, the burning question remains, is this an authentic brush with the supernatural? I'd love to hear your theories in the comments. This next creepy video has been shared before, however, it hasn't been picked up by other channels in a while, so I thought I'd feature it. The video which was uploaded by Nick Foster, who, while out walking in the woods, happily filming his dog Poppy, captured more on his camera than he was expecting. Get up. see it. Caught on camera in the dark woods, a pale, white, ghostly figure can be seen walking between the trees in the distance. But who is it? Nick says that quote, in the video I capture something walking, it looked like a soldier in a helmet and trench coat. He adds that, to his knowledge, he was the only person there with his dog Poppy. Viewers agree with Nick's suggestion, embracing the possibility that it could indeed be the ghost of a soldier, wandering alone in this dark forest. But what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera? I'm curious to know your thoughts on this one. Many of us have tales of peculiar neighbours, but this TikTok user took it to another level. While out for a solitary walk, she captured this spine-chilling footage. I'm going for a walk and I look up and I see my neighbours. The lights can be seen flickering on and off. She looks inside and her neighbours can be seen acting rather strange. Then, all of a sudden, they all creepily turn together at once and stare out right at the girl recording. The video then ends there and no more videos were uploaded after that. TikTok users were left creeped out to f by this video. Many are anxious, speculating about the fate of the uploader given the singular nature of the video. However, others argue it might be a well-crafted hoax. But the question remains, what's your verdict? Leave a comment with what you're thinking. The next bizarre clip comes from the official Facebook page for the Shambles Market in York, UK. The city of York has a long and famous history of paranormal activity. Local legends such as the Grey Lady, a nun ghost and other phantoms are all rumoured to haunt the old streets and buildings. The Shambles, one of the best preserved medieval shopping streets in Europe, has had its fair share of ghostly sightings. And in this video, which is CCTV camera footage taken on the 12th of September this year, something strange was caught. The 
CCTV footage catches a bike without a cyclist or anyone guiding it, eerily rolling into the middle of the road before briefly pausing and then toppling over. This footage has left Facebook viewers spooked and even the Shambles Market York Facebook page says it has given them the chills. Viewers believe this to be something paranormal due to the uncountable number of paranormal encounters in and around the medieval city of York. But what do you think? Is this footage evidence of how haunted York City is? Let me know your thoughts on this one. This next entry is a creepy photo taken from the subreddit Ghosts and has left Redditors intrigued. The photo was taken by user Jazz underscore 67 in his grandparents' old home. Jazz says that, quote, I spent a good deal of my childhood visiting my grandparents' old home. It was essentially an old trailer home with an added renovation, surrounded by both woods and cornfield, as well as an enormous lake or pond behind the home. While going through some old photos, Jazz stumbled across one particular photo that caught his eye. After inspecting it further, he was horrified by what he saw. Captured in a photo taken in the extension part of his grandparents' home, a child-sized apparition can be seen standing at the end of the hallway. But who is it? Jazz says that, quote, during his grandparents' time of living there and when he would visit, the main creepy activity would mostly occur in the added renovation area of the home, exactly where this entity in the photo is standing. Redditors believe Jazz's story to be true and the photo uploaded to the Ghosts subreddit to be legitimate proof of the paranormal. What do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera as Redditors believe? You tell me. This next video comes from the popular Pakistani ghost hunting channel, Sayar Official. In the video, Sayar and his team of ghost hunters visit an abandoned ranch miles out in the middle of nowhere. The ranch is said to be incredibly haunted. According to the previous owner, the empty home on the ranch has several unwelcome guests who have made their home there. The owner reported that all three of his children became sick at the exact same time with the exact same illness after climbing a tree at the back of the property that they believe is haunted. There have been many other terrifying encounters with the supernatural on the ranch as well, including an invisible creature moving the bed and telling the person in it not to sleep there. It is believed that the ranch is host to not one, but a family of jinns, otherwise known in the Western world as demons. Sayat and his team start their investigation around the old ranch, where they hear a lot of strange noises coming from all around them. Then at around 37 minutes into the video, they capture this. Hello, यार ये पलटी है यहाँ पड़ी हुई थी हाँ इधर पड़ी हुई थी all of a sudden, a wooden cart is flipped over by something we can't see. The ghost hunters are spooked by what they've just witnessed, but continue on with their investigation, keen to get to the bottom of whatever is haunting this old ranch. A short while later, they reach a washing area of the ranch and capture this. Oh, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the can. Put him here, the can. You sink me now? Sink me to tower. A while that you're putting me the So, near me, honey. Here, did you catch that? As Kurum stands in front of the mirror, you can clearly see his reflection, but watch what happens when he turns his head. His reflection in the mirror stays exactly how it was. The pair don't notice and continue on with their investigation. Eventually, they reach a room when suddenly they notice something out of the corner of their eye. Can you give क्या हुआ खुरम इधर से किसी ने झांका है इधर से शायद इधर से किसी ने झांका है इधर से कोई देख रहा था मैंने खुद देखा है इधर से जैसे कोई देख ही नीचे हुआ है now again did you spot it 
the head of something dark. Quickly ducks down behind a wall as soon as the bright light hits it. They notice and rush over to it, but nothing's there. The ghost hunters continue on with their paranormal investigation around the old ranch, and after a while, they come across a room with an old bed in it. Thinking about the encounters of previous occupants of the ranch, they decide this would be a good way to make contact with whatever entities reside on the ranch, but it turned out to be a very bad idea. All of a sudden, while Kurum is lying on the bed, the bed mysteriously flips over, throwing him flying onto the floor. Terrified by what's just happened, Karim grabs his camera and flees in absolute fear. Say our officials viewers were on the edge of their seats while watching their paranormal investigation around this old abandoned ranch, with many believing that the ghost hunters were being tormented by a jinn. But what do you think? Did Karim and Shahid encounter real paranormal activity on camera? You tell me. This next creepy video was uploaded to the YouTube channel Leviathan almost three years ago. Apparently, while Leviathan's parents were away for vacation, they left him in charge of their farm. During the night, Leviathan was awoken by chilling sounds coming from the barn. Too scared to look, he ignored them. However, on the following night, while one of his friends was round, the chilling sounds started again. And this time, with his friend for backup, he decides to go and investigate. As Leviathan opens the gate, a creepy sound can be heard. Then, the gate slams behind them and the creepy sound gets louder. Frozen in fear, Leviathan stands still, hoping to not disturb whatever is lurking inside any further. Then, all of a sudden, the head of something quickly pops up and Leviathan and his friend flee for their lives. Several nights later, Leviathan hears the chilling sounds again, this time much closer than before. He heads out into the darkness and gets the fright of his life. As Leviathan makes his way through the dark woods, the creepy sounds can be heard 
echoing all around him. He shines his flashlight in front of him and something can clearly be seen for a few seconds before it lets out a horrifying noise. Without a second thought, Leviathan makes a run for it. YouTube viewers were left creeped out by this strange creature caught on camera by Leviathan, with many agreeing with top commenters Toxley Moxley and Sekiji9331 that these creatures are known as crawlers and come from underground caves and mines. But what do you think? Did Leviathan capture some sort of creature that lives deep underground? I'm eager to hear your thoughts in the comments section. This astounding footage of the moon was captured by an Italian astronomer named Alberto Mayer and posted to Reddit by Flimsy Union 1524 On the night of April 29th, 2007, at precisely 10.52pm, Alberto was grappling with stubborn dust spots on his telescope CCD camera. After cleaning it twice, he became frustrated by yet another mark on his lens. However, this spot did something the others didn't it moved. Realising he was witnessing something unprecedented, Alberto rushed to record the footage, albeit with some technical hiccups due to the capture software's frame limitations and his own excitement induced errors. What unfolded next was nothing short of awe-inspiring. In the stunning conclusion of Alberto Mayer's gripping footage, the unidentified object that captured his and now our attention reveals a complex range of movements that defy easy explanation. The mysterious dark spot embarks on a journey from Wallace Crater, gliding smoothly over the Wallace Alps and passing by a sequence of renowned lunar craters, but the plot thickens. The object abruptly slows to half its original speed and hovers momentarily as if contemplating its next move. Then, with the decisiveness of a guided missile, it makes a sharp turn at a precise 45 degree angle. As if this wasn't perplexing enough, the object accelerates rapidly upon reaching Grace Crater, attaining nearly double its initial velocity before vanishing from sight, as if escaping into lunar oblivion or perhaps the dark recesses of space. Despite a variety of theories ranging from weather balloons to secret satellites, none adequately account for the object's unusual size or complex behaviours. For now, the elusive entity remains a true UFO, waiting for someone to unravel its secrets. Do you have a theory to explain this enigmatic spectacle? Let me know in the comment section. This next creepy video was uploaded by a man who was startled by eerie noises coming from his bedroom. Alone in his house, he initially suspected an intruder. Gathering courage, he approached the room with his phone camera, hoping to provide evidence for the police. But what he ended up capturing was far more from anything a simple police report could explain. When the person recording flicks the light on, someone or something can be seen. That is not quite human. So just who or what is it? Viewers of this video believe this man's home is haunted and that whatever this is, is a quote, shadow bigger. But what do you think this is? Let me know. This next creepy video comes from TikTok. When a team of maintenance workers began hearing uncanny sounds from a drain they were attending to, they wisely hit the record button. What they captured sent shivers down the spines of TikTok viewers. <laughs> Es que yo iba pasando por acá y esa vuelta está esta pa... 
Is the worker points the camera down the drain, a face all of a sudden appears and just stares up at the workers. Clearly shocked, the worker filming jumps back in fear before the video abruptly ends. TikTok viewers jumped at the sight of this figure appearing out of nowhere, with some suggesting it's a well-crafted prank, while others believe it to be something more supernatural. But what do you think was lurking in that drain? Share your thoughts in the comments section. The next terrifying entry has been picked up and reported on by several news sites. The image, uploaded onto the subreddit Ghosts, has caused quite a stir. Amanda Pitt from Pennsylvania was awoken in the morning at 3.40am by loud heavy footsteps. At first, she initially thought it might have been her husband Jeffrey. However, when she flicked her bedside light on, she saw that Jeffrey was fast asleep next to her. Concerned, she checked her indoor security camera feed and what she saw made her blood run cold. A creepy figure with a distorted face can be seen standing in Amanda's kitchen doorway. But who is it? Frightened, Amanda woke her husband Jeffrey, who went downstairs to confront whoever or whatever this is. But there was nobody there and mysteriously no physical trace that anyone had broken in. However, their dog Ollie was noticeably distressed and pacing around the kitchen. Amanda was completely terrified by what she saw on the cameras that night and kept checking the cameras, expecting whatever this is to return. Commenters on the subreddit Ghost are mostly in agreement that the image is pretty damn terrifying, with a top commenter saying, real person or not, that is one terrifying picture, lol. But the question remains, just what did Amanda's indoor CCTV capture that night? Drop a comment below with your thoughts. This next set of creepy clips come from the TikTok account Celsa Anne, who claims her home is haunted. Celsa says that strange, unexplainable things have been happening around her home for some time, mostly in their bathroom. Creepy noises wake her in the night, objects move by themselves, and taps would randomly turn on. In an attempt to find answers, Celsa decided to record all the activity she could and upload them to her TikTok page, hoping someone could help her. This is what they showed. Okay, so I have been trying to catch this on video for at least two weeks now. Um, I have been seeing things move. Everybody thinks I'm nuts. I know what I saw. There's nobody here. My doggy. Okay. Okay, come on ghost, if there's a ghost in this house. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Okay. Oh my god, I told you, I told you. Okay. Celsa asks whoever or whatever is haunting her home to make itself known and then a drawer slowly opens all by itself. Horrified, she approaches cautiously and then the drawer closes shut somehow on its own. TikTok viewers were sceptical, so Celsa uploads a video taken on a camera she had set up when all the activity started happening weeks before. 
In this next clip, Selsa is relaxing at home all alone in bed when she's disturbed by noises coming from the bathroom. He's scared. Yeah. Sometimes I'm hearing noises, sometimes things get thrown off the counter. I just want to make sure that you see nothing because this is really creepy. I'm so over it. John, hurry up and get home. It's just the cat box. Yeah, I'm gonna go live as soon as John gets here because I'm I'm creeped out. <laughs> the drawers suddenly open mysteriously by themselves before closing shut. In this next clip, Elsa's daughter witnesses the activity firsthand. daughter can be seen looking for something in the bathroom then the drawer slides open all on its own startling her and without a second thought she flees the bathroom in fear tiktok viewers were left creeped out by these videos uploaded by Celsa Ann, with many commenters showing sympathy and suggesting a range of solutions from burning sage around her home to moving out entirely however skeptics argue it's all just for views but the sheer terror on her daughter's face Face tells a different story. But what do you think? Is Salsa Ann's home haunted by an unseen entity or is it all just for views? I'm eager to hear your thoughts on this one. There have been a lot of discussions about alien life and UFOs lately, so I thought I'd feature a compelling video caught on camera during a huge lightning storm in Arizona this year. Oh look, right look now. right there. No. Look, 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 look. Oh, so look at the way it looks. Me. Look. Do y'all see that? I told you. That's that. a UFO, That's what I bro. Right. What is that? That's a fucking UFO. <gasps> oh shit. You yeah, see it? Yeah, it looks like bro. A oh. <gasps> what is that? Wait. What the f Captured on camera by Arizona residents amidst the ferocious lightning storm, something peculiar emerges when the footage is magnified. Bathed in the bright, erratic flashes of lightning, a mysterious floating thing can be seen. But what exactly are we looking at? The debate on this video is swift and heated. Many firmly argue it's an extraterrestrial craft, a UFO captured in real time. Yet, a considerable number attribute it to a natural phenomenon, the lenticular cloud. Lenticular clouds, for those unfamiliar, are lens-shaped clouds that typically develop on the downward side of a mountain or other geographical features that disrupt the flow of air. When the conditions are just right, moist air flows along the 
surface of the earth and meet these obstructions. As the air rises, it cools and condenses into these stunning, saucer-like formations. Their peculiar shape often leads them to be mistaken for UFOs. But the real question lingers, is this a mere atmospheric marvel or something beyond our understanding? Share your thoughts. You don't need to be alone in the dark to have a terrifying encounter with the paranormal. This man, working in a kitchen, had people all around him when this horrifying moment happened. As the man stirs the food, he's suddenly pulled back by something we can't see. If we zoom in, we can see the man's feet suddenly lift off the floor before he floats backwards in the air. The man, clearly shaken and confused by what's just happened, looks around to see what did it. TikTok viewers have been left creeped out by this video, with many agreeing with user Eliza Lou that at first it looks like he slipped but after watching it again, it looks like something is holding his leg. But what do you think happened here? Let me know in the comments section. This next video comes from the paranormal investigation channel Nightwatch Exploration, where he visits an old abandoned military bunker miles out in the middle of nowhere. Prior to filming the video, there were no reports of it being haunted, but it was creepy enough to warrant a closer look, and as fate would have it, their suspicion was eerily accurate. There's no way, whatever that, listen. No, that's just thunder. That's f***ing thunder, but what the f*** was that? There's no, I can't make it. there's no way, there's no way that whatever we just saw could run. Through here, that through fast. Here. I mean, look how thick that bush is. Look at this. There's no way we would have heard, he would have been off. Did you catch it? No? Well, let's stabilize the video. As the camera pans around, a strange, pale figure can be seen peeking around the doorway for a split second before it quickly ducks away out of sight. The explorers see it and rush over to it, but when they get there, the pale figure is nowhere to be seen. What really cranks up the eerie factor here is that this place is completely overgrown. There's no logical escape route for whatever that was. So did it vanish into thin air? And as mentioned earlier, this hangar is miles out in the middle of nowhere. So it begs the question, just who or what was watching them? And where did it go? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. The next terrifying clip comes from TikTok user Danny Bees and is in my opinion one of the creepiest on this list. It is often said that children are more sensitive to the paranormal than adults and that our ability to see the unknown fades as we get older. In the video, Danny's daughter and grandma Mimi can be seen relaxing at home when all of a sudden Danny's daughter sees something. I miss Mimi. I miss you too. I miss you too. I'm here. What? What? Who's coming? Him coming. Who? Oh. Him. You see somebody back there? Him. Who? Oh. Him. Him? Yeah. Where's he at? Is he in our house? Yeah. Where? Show me. Where's he at? He's right in front of you? Yeah. Who is it? A guy. Who's there, mister? What are you doing in our... Where's he at? In the dining room? 
Yeah. Show me him. Go show me him. Give me your hand. Take me to him. This him. Take me to him. Show me. This him. Wait, let me show me. Is he right here? Yeah. He's in our dining room? Yeah. What are you doing in our dining room, mister? What does he look like? Uh, I bug. He's got bug eyes? Yeah. What are you doing in our living room, mister? Get. Get. You go. You go back home. You go back wherever you came from. What did he, what's he doing? Come on, you're creeping me out. We're going upstairs. Come on. You're scaring me, Mimi. We're going upstairs. Yeah, you're scaring me, Mimi. We're going upstairs. While playing, Danny's daughter begins to look out of shot and say something very ominous. He's coming. And then points to where he is, which is right in front of her. Grandma Mimi asks Danny's daughter to show her exactly where he is. But as they're walking over, Danny's daughter stops following as if she's too afraid to go over. Grandma Mimi then asks, what does he look like? To which her granddaughter chillingly says, bug eyes. Creeped out, Grandma Mimi takes her granddaughter upstairs. Children's inability to lie has certainly been a deciding factor when it comes to viewers determining the authenticity of this video. One TikTok commenter, Missy, says she said he had bug eyes. That's scary. Kids don't lie. Another commenter, Ty Mason, makes the eerie claim that she never changed the direction that she was pointing. She must have seen something. But the question remains, what did Danny's daughter see? And was it something we adults can't see? Use the comments to share your thoughts. This next girl's video comes from TikTok, uploaded by Troy Lego one Troy says that he's been experiencing strange things around his home, specifically horrifying sounds and banging coming from the opposite side of his basement door in the attic for some time, and he suspects it could be something paranormal or a demon. Troy decides to set up CCTV cameras inside his home to document what is going on. He sets up one camera covering the basement door and one in the attic, both areas where the activity has been happening. The next morning, Troy leaves for work and his static camera pointed towards the basement records this. The ceiling fan starts spinning, then a banging noise can be heard echoing off the basement door and suddenly the door slowly opens for a few seconds before something can be heard growling. The door then slams shut. For several days, no activity is recorded. However, just over a week later, one afternoon, the camera caught this. Knocking and growling can be heard coming from Troy's basement. Then the door violently swings open before stopping abruptly. The chairs under the dining table can then be seen moving and then the door to the basement slams shut. But then the haunting sounds of growling and banging follows. The door 
swings open again and a heavy bench then slams into the wall. After this recording, the activity again dies down for several days. Almost two weeks later, this happens. A chair slides out from under the table and then slides in a different direction. Another chair then moves out somehow on its own. Troy arrives home and is confused with why the chairs are there. He checks the house for burglars but all looks clear so he ventures down to the basement but then the door slams shut right behind him. Creeped out, he races back out. Convinced the activity is something paranormal, Troy decides to check the camera footage from the attic to see if it had captured anything up there and well, it seems like it did. seen floating around the room then a little door in the wall slowly slides open before closing shut. TikTok viewers have been left creeped out by these videos uploaded by Troy Lego one Many are convinced that the unsettling footage he's captured and uploaded to his page provides undeniable evidence of paranormal activity, speculating that a malevolent poltergeist may inhabit his home. But what's your take? Is Troy truly being haunted by something sinister? Share your thoughts in the comments. This unsettling photo was captured and uploaded to the subreddit Ghosts by user Quazo Amore. Quazo Amore explains that while walking past an old abandoned building in their hometown, they noticed something unusual in one of the windows. Thinking it was a Halloween decoration, they took a photo. And when they took a closer look, they realized that it's something far more creepy. At the very top of the tall window, a pale face with dark hollow looking eyes can be seen peering out. The perplexed uploader says that when they looked up at the window again after taking the photo, the face was gone. And what makes this even more creepy is that the uploader even returned to the window multiple times but never saw anything unnerving in the window again. Users of the subreddit Ghost are completely convinced that this is actual photographic evidence of something supernatural. Whatever the explanation, I find this image undeniably sinister. But more importantly, what's your take on this creepy photo? Comment and let me know. 
This next clip was uploaded to Reddit by no Adagio6743 and is titled Bigfoot Sighting Ontario. While out boating on an unspecified lake in Ontario, no Agio6743 claims to have caught footage of one of the most elusive creatures there is. Bigfoot sightings captured by some boaters. I'll play it through and then I'll zoom in on the subject and then play it again at full speed. And at normal speed, forwards and backwards, I didn't want to zoom too much, I didn't want it to get too pixelated. As the boat approaches the shore, a large figure can be seen walking quickly over the bank of the lake into the trees. The figure appears to be abnormally tall in size and its colour and movement seems to be more befitting to a gorilla than a human. The footage, which was uploaded to the subreddit Bigfoot, has left Redditors stunned, with many believing this to be an actual sighting of Bigfoot itself, judging by its size, movement and colour. But what do you think this could be? Is this irrefutable proof of Bigfoot? Let me know your thoughts on this one. Ghost hunting channel Near Shadows decided to return to an abandoned house where they'd previously been taken to while playing the infamous Rando Nautica game. For the first part of the video, the group make their way through the old abandoned house. However, when they reach the basement, they capture something rather strange on camera. Okay, we go down there. Uh... It's actually more sturdy than you would think. Except for when you get to this last. You sure? Yeah. I didn't grab my flashlight, I forgot. We did not come to the basement last time. One person at a time, Did you catch it? While Jeremy is down in the basement, a mysterious shadowy arm appears to move by the door at the opposite end of the basement. Eagle-eyed viewers were quick to point out this mysterious shadow reaching around the door, but is it something paranormal or just a trick of the light? Let me know. In the hallowed halls of learning, school caretakers often hear tales from imaginative students, stories that border on the implausible. However, when a group of school children urgently alerted one such caretaker about unusual, perhaps even paranormal occurrences inside a classroom, what he discovered sent shivers down his spine. Se metió un ratero. Según se mueven las bancas. Pero vamos a ver. Son las dos diez. Oh, la chingada. No oh, mames. One of the desks moves across the floor with its chair. The man jumps, but stays for a moment. Seconds later, another desk is violently moved too. The caretaker then decides to get out of there. So, what could have possibly caused such disturbances? A genuine paranormal encounter or a well-executed prank? Use the comments to share your thoughts. This next ghost video comes from the Turkish ghost hunting channel and you see where they venture up a hillside that's supposedly haunted. Legend has it that a demonic creature is rumoured to wander the hillside late at night guarding sacred treasures from thieves. For the first part of the video, Aziz, Ahmet and the team drive to the area and make their way up the hill. Then, at around 13 minutes into the video, they capture something incredibly chilling. <laughs> Aziz, 
Okumadın mı baştan? Yok daha okumadım. Ondan mı yazıktı? Ondan olabilir evet. Korunuyor çünkü şimdi burası. Okan sen bir an önce gidiyor. Ömer abi bak şu taş dikleşti. <gülüyor> Orada öyle değil. Şey Ahmet sakın e, şu an her yerde çıkabilir. Her an çıkabilir. Bu... Allah Ömer abi. Ömer abi sandığa. Bir dakika. Sandığa sandığa. Nerede? Yukarıda yukarıda. Tamam gördüm. Gördüm bir dakika bak. Gördüm. Boynuzlara bak. Tamam işte. Ahmet bu boynuzu şerşapal bu Ahmet. Boynuzu şerşapal bak. Dediğin abi bu. Büyük boynuzu olan. Burayı koruyan boynuzu şerşapal bu çok güçlü. En güçlüsü. Çok güçlü Ahmet sakın panik yapma bak. Başa, başına büyük bir sıkıntı gelebilir sakın panik yapma bak. Görüyor musun? Şu an bize bakıyor. Ve şimdi bunu... O neydi öyle? Çıktı bu ortaya. Bu tısımla çıktı ortaya. Bir şey, bir şey, bir şey ama çok güçlü Ahmet. Abi, var mı başka yerde var? Burada aşağıda. Aşağıda Ömer abi. Yakında. Ömer abi yakında. Yakında. Arkamda geldi. Arkama geldi Ömer burada. abi. Arkama geldi. Tamam tamam tamam. Aziz. Aziz Ahmet de dur buradan. Abi sen bu saatlerim. Something with glowing eyes can be seen watching the team from the shadows. Whoever or whatever this is appears to be crouched on all fours and has a huge pair of horns on its head like some sort of demonic creature. Aziz and Ahmet believe that this is the demonic creature that has been rumoured to lurk up in these hills and their viewers believe it is too. But what do you think? Did these ghost hunters encounter a demon on camera? I'll leave that for you to decide. The thought of an unseen entity threatening your family's safety is enough to send chills down any parent's spine. The realm of the invisible carries its own kind of dread, especially when it seems to have a presence in your home. This footage comes from TikTok user Jessie519's baby monitor, which notifies her and automatically records any movement in her son's room. She posted this clip to her TikTok page in the hopes someone would tell her what had happened so she can put a stop to it before something really bad happens. <laughs> Jessie's baby monitor captures a scary moment that has left her searching for answers. Her son, whose crib is securely placed against a wall, is suddenly and inexplicably pulled backward toward that very wall. Completely bewildered and terrified, Jessie suspects that something far from ordinary is at play here. Something paranormal. Taking her concerns to TikTok, the footage stuns viewers into silence, leaving many grappling with what could possibly explain this mysterious occurrence. But what are your thoughts? What could have pulled Jesse's son in such an inexplicable manner towards a wall? Drop a comment below with your thoughts. This video was uploaded back in 2015 to Facebook by Ashi Murphy, who says her house is haunted by a poltergeist. Most of the activity would occur in her kitchen, cupboard doors would open and close on their own, the lampshade would swing, and objects would mysteriously fly off and smash on the floor. Every time something would happen, Ashi would try and document it using her phone. In this clip, Ashi is relaxing in her kitchen when all of a sudden the lampshade begins to move on its own. shade can be seen rocking side to side then an object on the opposite side of the room moves a bowl by the sink crashes to the side before more objects take up a mind of their own this video which has racked up over 31 million views on facebook has left viewers spooked 
including many of Ashi's friends who chimed in in the comments. Many believe Ashi is indeed being haunted by a poltergeist and that she should pack up and leave as soon as possible. But what do you think is going on here? Is this poltergeist activity caught on camera? Drop a comment below with your thoughts. This next creepy clip comes from the popular Mexican ghost hunting channel, Extinct File. Kevin and Camera 2 visit a cemetery late at night in the hopes of capturing paranormal activity. For the first part of the video, the ghost hunters explore the cemetery where they become spooked by the darkness around them. Then, at around 16 minutes in, it captures something very strange. <laughs> Parece que por acá termina, güey, el cementerio. Sí, mira. Ay, güey. No me da... Siento un nervio, güey. Pero increíble, güey. Ay, güey. Es que esos... Esos gritos no son para nada normales, güey. La madre, güey. ¿Qué onda con eso? As Kevin and Camera 2 peer down one of the passages, some sort of creature like thing moves rapidly in front of them. But what is it? The figure, though badly lit and far away, most certainly seems human in shape and partially clothed. Extinct Files viewers were left creeped out by this creepy figure moving quickly in the darkness, with many suggesting that the ghost hunters caught a demonic creature on camera. However, skeptics argue that it's simply just a homeless person. But what do you think? Did ghost hunters Kevin and Camera 2 from Extinct File capture something supernatural on camera? Or was it just a homeless person? Drop a comment below with your thoughts. This next creepy video was uploaded back in 2016 to the Facebook page La Otra Dimension. Apparently, a family home had been experiencing strange things for some time. Objects would move by themselves and loud bangs would wake the family up in the night. The father of the family decided to install security cameras around his house in an attempt to get to the bottom of the unexplainable events. One afternoon, his daughter can be seen playing with her dolls when the cameras capture something rather creepy. Caught on a security camera, a doll in the corner of the room slowly moves its head mysteriously all by itself. The girl doesn't notice and continues playing, unaware to what could be inside that doll. In this next clip, taken four days later, the daughter can be seen doing her homework when the camera captures this creepy moment.
two pieces of paper fly towards the girl, who notices it, but is unsure how. She pauses for a moment before fleeing the room in fear. The girl returns a short while later, and then the papers suddenly start moving, bizarrely, on their own, and the girl just gets out of there before all hell breaks loose. This creepy video has gone viral, racking up millions of views, and also being picked up by media outlets such as The Sun and Lad Bible. Viewers believe that this family's home is being haunted by a poltergeist, and that they should move out ASAP. AP. But what do you think? Is this real poltergeist activity caught on camera or just a well executed hoax? You tell me. This next video comes from the paranormal investigation channel Chelsea Luna, where she visits the Armageddon Castle in Tennessee, hoping to capture paranormal activity on camera. Built in 1937 by Mason and Carpenter William Andrew Nicholson and his wife Fair, the castle has both an interesting and spooky history. Both William and Fair thought that this castle, also known as Millennium Manor, was strong enough to survive Armageddon itself, which the couple both believed would happen in 1969. They also thought that the castle would make them immortal. Obviously, this did not come to pass, and now the spirits of William and Fair are said to linger in the castle and grounds. Chelsea solo explores the nooks and crannies of the creepy castle, and not long into her investigation, things get a little bit creepy. Alright, you guys. This is your room. <gasps> Really freaking me out. Was that light on before? I don't think so. What the freak was that? Chelsea is startled by something, but when she goes to check, there's no one there. Too scared to continue alone, she decides to head outside, but as she's leaving, her camera captures this. Did you see it? As Chelsea pans the camera towards a window, eagle-eyed viewers notice something she didn't. What looks like the pale face of someone can be seen peering out the window before slowly moving back the opposite way. And at the time this figure was caught, nobody else was in this part of the castle. Chelsea's viewers believe she caught the face of a ghost on camera, but what do you think? Use the comments to share your thoughts. This next video was captured by urban explorer and paranormal investigator Dave Explores when he visited the Cooneen Ghost House located in County Fermanagh, Northern Ireland. Built in the late 19th century, this house stands as a testament to its eerie past. Once home to the Murphy family, its walls have witnessed a series of chilling paranormal events. Objects moving on their own, invisible forces attacking family members, and a constant air of dread that pushed the family to not only seek the church's intervention for two exorcisms, but eventually flee to America in a desperate bid to escape the haunting. Fast forward to Dave's visit, where he delves into this storied residence, aiming to communicate with the supposed poltergeist. As the video unfolds, Dave tours the dilapidated rooms and hallways, but at approximately 41 minutes in, one of his static cameras records an event that leaves even him puzzled. I will call it a day on this microphonic session, guys. And Captured on a static camera placed in a room away from Dave, a mysterious dark shadow materialises and quickly crawls up the wall. The shadow moves so fast that if you blink, you'd miss it. The footage has since astounded viewers of Dave Explores. Even Dave, no stranger to the unexplained, labels this particular phenomenon as crazy. But this does beg the question, just what exactly did the camera capture? Could this have been the very presence that once tormented the Murphy family, leading to tales of possession? Drop your theories in the comments below. 
This next creepy video comes from the subreddit Ghosts. The video is titled Pontianak or Kuntilanak was spotted in an amateur video recording on Indonesian national news on 20th of April 2023. And well, after watching the video, that just might be. Did you spot it? For a split second, when the camera moves to the left, a mysterious figure dressed in white with long dark hair can be seen lingering in the background. Some viewers suggest that she looks as if she's floating, and if we zoom in, it does indeed look like it. Many people believe this mysterious figure is a Pontianak, or as some might call her, a Kuntilanak, a terrifying female spectre thirsting for vengeance, known for instilling sheer terror in her victims. But what do you think? Drop a comment below with your thoughts on this one. This next video has been shared before, but it's one I haven't seen featured anywhere for a few years now. The video comes from the channel Finders Beepers History Seekers, where Matt and Andy visit an abandoned farmhouse built in the 19th century. Located near an ancient castle, the farmhouse's walls whisper tales of its grim past. A previous owner met a tragic fate here, found hanging from the farmhouse's old beams. Matt and Andy explore the old dilapidated farmhouse, but a short while into their exploration, they capture something which made their blood turn cold. So yeah, we've, uh, we've just made our way back down there, back through the the beams where all the pan tiles are. Uh, I'm going to quickly show Andy the um, the kestrel, and then we'll make our way around. There's some massive build. There should have been some massive buildings up that that side, but so yeah, it's just a bit further up there. It's. Uh... Did you catch it? As the camera follows Andy, a mysterious dark figure can be seen lurking in a doorway and appears to be watching the unsuspecting pair. The pair, unaware to what's lurking nearby, continue their exploration around the old farmhouse. Uh, They're between more and more of a liability. Right. Let's, uh, let's, let's go, go to the main house. Now again, did you spot it? Standing in the background to the right of the screen, the mysterious dark figure can be seen standing motionless, again, just watching the unsuspecting pair. Matt and Andy had no idea what they caught on camera inside this abandoned farmhouse and were understandably shocked at both these captures. But the question remains, who is this all black figure lurking in the background watching Matt and Andy? I'm eager to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're a fan of scary content, make sure you check out either of these two videos here. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you'll never miss any of our weekly uploads. See you next time.